Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this video, I want to talk about learning PHP and the different versions of PHP. This is, uh, the reason for this blog is because of an email I got recently. Somebody asked me about, you know, which version of PHP do I cover in my videos? Uh, they were concerned about the fact that PHP 6 is on the horizon, etc. You know, what's, what's going on here? Uh, here's the situation. As of August today, August 23 or 25, uh, PHP uh, 5 is the version that you have to use. Right now, according to php.org, it's version 5.38. So yes, PHP 6 is, is out in early versions, but it's not something I would be using now because I would imagine 99% of the servers out there are supporting PHP 5 meaning they'll run PHP 5. PHP 6 is still not an official release as far as I know. So I wouldn't be uh, looking at that. With regards to the differences between PHP uh, 4 and PHP 5, it comes down to just a few things. It comes down to object-oriented PHP. PHP 5 makes object-oriented PHP real object-oriented uh, code as opposed to PHP 4, which was kind of a hobbled version. Uh, XML processing was changed in PHP 5 and improved. And you have a new uh, MySQL extension, MySQL I. If you learn My, the MySQL extension, the traditional one, the difference between that and, and I is, is really minimal, especially if you're learning, doing the basic stuff. Um, if you were to go from learning MySQL, the classic uh, extensions in PHP, and then go to I, you're not going to have any difficulty with that. It's just better implemented in uh, PHP 5, and there's some extra doodads. I'm not going to get into it. If you're already knowledgeable about PHP, and you uh, you understand the basics and so on, you want to sort of learn the differences and get into some details, a good book I would recommend is an O'Reilly book. And it's, it's, Although it's a little dated, it's a few years old. It's upgraded to PHP 5. It contrasts the differences between PHP 4 and 5, and you see what you know what's going on there. So that's a great book. Uh, you know, it was published in 04, so I'm sure they have an updated version. But again, if you're new to PHP, uh, you don't want to, and, and you don't have any programming experience, you probably don't want to go with an O'Reilly book. You can go to KillerPHP.com. We have all kinds of videos there, lots of free stuff, basic articles. Uh, you can get going that way. Um, and uh, once you have some pretty good knowledge, we are, you know, I don't want to push my stuff too much. I don't like hard selling my own services and products, but we have quite an extensive library of training videos on PHP and so on. We get pretty advanced as well. But good publishers for people who already have knowledge in uh, PHP is O'Reilly. And uh, again, if you're upgrading, this is a good book to upgrade to. Again, uh, in terms of PHP 6, I wouldn't be spending too much time on that right now because it, I don't know when that's going to be widely adopted by the community. Probably a few years from now. So you know, we're talking. I'm in two, we're, this video I'm shooting in, in 2011 August. So I wouldn't be uh, getting too uh, crazy about that. At the end of the day, really though, uh, except for some, you know specific things like global, global VARs and, and the magic quotes thing. Um, I'm not going to get into that in this video. Really, between PHP 4 and 5, it's not so huge. The object-oriented stuff, it's interesting, very important. If you're doing XML processing, again, you know, again, these are rare things. The XML processing is kind of rare. Uh, and again, if you learn MySQL, the classic extensions to get into the new libraries, the MySQL I. I don't think you're going to have too much of a difficulty transitioning. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, that's about it. So, learning PHP, you don't have to worry about PHP 6 right now. Look at PHP 5, although a lot of the basics in PHP, whether it be PHP 4 or 5, uh, or 6, although I haven't really looked at 6 too much. So, you know, again, it's not prime time, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, I wouldn't be too concerned about all that, so you should be, uh, you should be okay. I know, short video, but, uh, you know, that's it. Bye.